at 6.35 in the morning and a pilot boards a container ship for its departure from Melbourne. The pilot and the master have a short discussion about the pilotage ahead. At 07.15, after completing cargo, the ship sails from Melbourne down the river, a helmsman is steering the ship as ordered by the pilot. At 08.30, the pilot allows the mate to leave the bridge of the ship as the ship moves down the channel. The pilot orders 182 degrees and the helmsman repeats the order. At 09.35, to turn west into the south channel, the pilot orders starboard 5 and then midships. The helmsman repeats the orders. At 09.37, the pilot orders port 5 and then port 10, port 20 and then hard to port to stop the starboard turn. The helmsman repeats the orders but puts starboard helm on each time. At 09.40, the pilot and the master see the helm is at hard to starboard. They yell, hard to port. You got the wheel hard to starboard, this way. Hard to port, hard to port. Hard to port, Governor. At 0941, despite counter helm, the rapidly turning ship grounds outside the channel. Fortunately, the ship's hull was intact after grounding in soft mud, and at noon, the ship was refloated with the rising tide. Our investigation found that nobody was monitoring the helmsman's execution of the pilot's orders and that his errors were not detected in time. Monitoring a pilot's orders and their execution is imperative and roles and responsibilities of every member of the bridge team should be clearly defined and agreed. This can ensure that any error will be detected in time to prevent a serious incident. <laughs>